Welcome to a new video and guess what I have here. Yes, this is GNOME 40 running on my laptop and I want to show you quickly what's new in this new polished updated desktop, one of the major desktops of Linux. So let's get started. GNOME 40 has been released and the naming change also comes with a big new update of the user interface. You can see from the first glance it looks pretty much the same, but you can see here on the website already that there are a couple new features. And I'm recording this here with my camera, not the screen recording app, because I couldn't get any screen recording app running here for some reason. Uh, and no, it's not because of Wayland. Um, it's just very slow when running through a live stick. Anyway, uh, this is the system and as you can see here I can scroll around and there are some simple, this is a great website by the way, some simple features that are explained here, just like new gestures for free swiping to go into your overview. And this is like this, this new overview, the activities overview now has the bottom panel so uh, what was on the side is now at the bottom and you have your favorite applications in here and you have a button to show all your applications and then your workspaces are moving up so you now have a horizontal instead of vertically aligned workspace and now i have the option to choose between all the applications here i have various different pages of applications and i can swipe uh, between them with two fingers swiping so only my two fingers here for swiping around I have various different applications installed here as you can see and you can see also the new icon theme or updated icon theme. There's some applications like books and maps and photos and videos, calculator and so on. We have folders of course. We have of course also support for uh, yeah, folders for creating new folders. So if I just have like here these uh, two games uh, 2048 and Isle Rot. Uh, I just can click and hold it and put it in another folder and it automatically creates a new folder and also creates a new label games. I can of course change this label to whatever I like to, but this is pretty nice and handy that you have the option to do so. That was not possible in earlier versions. Then of course I have um, other gestures here. If I don't have like a touchpad, like a notebook, I can of course use my meta key and super key. That is shown here, meta key, so super key, windows key and, and alt in this case and up to go here and another up to go to my applications. And of course I also have always the possibility to just press the super key to go into this and go out of this. And if I double press the super key this might be easier even I go directly to my applications. And of course I can just press the super key and just type in whatever I want to start like terminal and I can launch the terminal pretty easy, pretty straightforward and works pretty nicely. I like this new swipe gesture. I think uh, KD Plasma has something similar. We can swipe to see all windows. And I like this new settings uh, dialog as well uh, with uh, Wi-Fi networks here, a little bit shown a little bit more in uh, detail. And uh, yeah, you can just uh, go in here, connect your, to your Wi-Fi's uh, network and so on. You have notification support, do not disturb as well. I think this was has been added in the latest uh, version already of GNOME 3. And of course we have mouse support so I can press the super alt and scroll function, super alt and scroll function and then I can scroll between different as you can see here desktops. This is possible as well. And yeah, AppGrid is here explained as well, running your favorite application. So if you have an application open, just like Mac OS, it will show them um, to the right. So let's open up Terminal again and I can show you how this works and looks like. So if we go into Overview, you can see on the right bottom, we have our Terminal in here. And I can of course go in here and say Add to Favorites and then it is a part of the Favorites. And yeah, some core applications have been updated like the um, weather app. So let's check the weather app uh, where have the, we have the weather app here. You can search for a city. Let's search for Cologne, uh, North Westphalia. And here we have uh, the 
temperatures. We can of course change the unit of the temperatures to something sane. <laughs> so we have 14 degrees or we should have 14 degrees today. So very nice and sunny day. And uh, yeah, this is possible. We have a daily overview as well for the next couple of days. Oh, 20, 21 degrees. This looks pretty nice. Then, of course, we have the map application that has been updated. So let's check the map app. And uh, yeah, this is the map app. Can I search for Cologne, North Westphalia? Great. And it's zooming in as well, as you can see here. And now we are in Cologne. Probably is trying to read some uh, news as well. I can zoom in, I can zoom out. I zoomed in quite a bit, as you can see here. And uh, somewhere here should be the should be the cathedral here. We have the Cologne Cathedral. And yeah, I have the possibility to uh, navigate in here, to zoom in, to zoom out, to have various different other map layers, just like for example this layer here which shows the cathedral from above, as you can see, pretty nicely done. And I have the possibility to, of course, search and add routes here, toggling route planner, for example, and there I can search for roads uh, from and where, either by foot, by bicycle, by car or public transport. And I have some other options here like night mode, and uh, I can even sign up to open street map, street map account, export an image, or have some keyboard shortcuts shown here as well that helped me navigating this application. Uh, the web app has been updated for this um, as well. So let me open up the uh, apps here and there should be the web app. The web app under Wayland has some scaling issues I think because this here is running in the Wayland session right now. It looks fine for me right now. Maybe it was a different issue before. So you can see I tried installing Green Recorder here. There's some font, yeah, font rendering issues as you can see here. Uh, but in general, it is running faster than Firefox for some reason, at least in my session here. So this is also pretty nice. Then we have the files, so Nautilus or just files called nowadays. The file application app looks pretty nice as well. We have the option to change our view here, uh, pretty easy. I can even click here to just directly change between the different views and have some other options here as well. And uh, a great thing is like that almost every application has now a keyboard shortcut function or help menu that uh, displays you the keyboard shortcuts that you can use for yeah, doing some things here. I like this. Um, it's functional. It's working nice and looks minimalistic. Uh, some features I would like to have like um, terminal support somehow, um, but yeah, you cannot have everything. So it's very simple and light -wide. Uh Some settings have been changed as well. I was talking about the better Wi-Fi setup uh, options as uh, well as easier shortcuts that are shown everywhere and that you can set up everywhere if you like to. And the compose, compose key can be changed as well. There's the key that can be enabled from the settings uh, used for uh, entering special characters. And this has been updated as well. We can try out the new GNOME 40 version either by GNOME OS Nightly, Fedora 34 Beta or OpenSUSE. I'm running the OpenSUSE uh, image here right now, which runs pretty nicely. Although I think either my USB stick is a bit slow. It is. It feels a bit slow sometimes. And uh, it's better if you want to try out the new version, install it on uh, some uh, uh, partition uh, for your enjoyment. I think this would be much better. Documents application is also available here. I don't have any documents here. I don't have my Nextcloud account set up, but you can of course go into your settings and set up your Nextcloud account. But I think after using this a few minutes, I think this is very intuitive. You don't have to go to the left to, to reach this. You can just simply swipe up on your, your touchpad and you're in here. I can swipe up again, swipe up again to go to your application. It's, it's very hard to do with my left hand. Uh, swipe up again and you are here in your applications and yeah can start applications pretty nicely done as uh, well and uh, swipe down uh, lets you go back 
So what do you think about this new version of uh, GNOME 40? How do you like the user interface? Just write it in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye.